as a way to personally engage on a practice level, a practice of mindfulness and awareness, and bringing precision and gentleness and a lot of the Buddhist principles, but within a, an artistic, creative format. And these are harmonizing principles. They're very old. Again, this, this has to do with wisdom traditions wherein men and women contemplated nature and led lives and noticed that there are these underlying principles that seem to cut across culture and cut, cut across time, uh, cut across language. It has to do more with the recognition of people are already in the state of knowing and wonder and enlightenment. And it's a matter of uh, being relaxed enough and having the environment in which to express that. So the Shambhala teachings and the Shambhala art teachings offer the environment where anybody can come who has any inkling whatsoever to want to wake up. And the idea of waking up is about being present and about being available, first of all, to yourself. And then because of that, being available to others and then being able to extend to others and actually make some kind of difference in the world. But the idea is not to necessarily make a beautiful picture. We're not trying to make art. In a sense, it's more like if we show up with presence, if we let our mind settle, if we let our body be comfortable, then the natural outcome of that, we wait for the right moment to make a line, to make a mark, to fold the paper, to glue the color onto the color. So those gestures that have the outside form of art making may or may not bring us to fully into that experience, so that simple experience of drawing or painting or folding. But beyond that, there's something left over. possible to use completely ordinary and everyday means to bring us completely in the now. So that's our that's our hope as teachers and participants is to invite others to enjoy the same magic that continues to unfold in the now, in the moment, each time, each moment, the next moment, this moment. Shambhala art will bring us closer into our heart so that we can fully experience it and then offer it. <laughs>